welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angel and today I'll be sharing some more simple DIYs with you. Before we get started, as always, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. For this first project, I picked up two of these see-through frames from Dollar Tree. I got a smaller one and then a little bit larger 4x6 one. And I also picked up some of these fall leaves. I got the burlap ones and the leather ones from Dollar Tree. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is just taking everything apart and painting my frames white. I'm actually going to make these look wood. Now you can keep yours black or paint them any color you you want but this is just what I decided to do with mine to match the rest of my fall decor so of course once that white was dry I went in with some of my Waverly antique wax and a wet cloth and just kind of rub this onto there now for the smaller frame I did kind of have to cut down that burlap leaf a little bit to make it fit but then I'm just going to take both of those leaves and kind of layer them and then place them in between the glass And here is how they turned out. I think they are really adorable and they could definitely go with any decor. For this next project, I picked up a huge canvas frame from the thrift store. You can of course buy one from Walmart that is a larger size, but you can see I had already spray painted the front of it a little bit to cover up what was on here, but I ran out of spray paint so I did have to go in with some of my chalk paint to finish painting over this. And I am going to be doing a reverse canvas with this frame, so after it dried I went ahead and took it off of the frame. Now also for this project we're going to be using some of these Dollar Tree doilies and I got this pack of 32 from there. Now I just took one of the larger ones and I'm going to be painting that with this rusty orange color. Then I did a smaller one in this green color and left a small one the white color. Then all I had to do was just place them on my canvas where I wanted them and I just used some of this glue stick glue from Dollar tree to kind of place these where I wanted them. I glued them all together first and then put them onto the canvas. And you can see I had already did the reverse canvas where I took the canvas off the frame. I also had to remove that other little wood piece that was in the middle, but then I just stapled my canvas to the back of it. Now for the stems of the pumpkins, I'm just using some paper bags that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut those down and kind of fold them over and start twisting the top. Just leave the bottom part a little wider and you can twist these and turn them however you want cut them down and then I also just added a couple pieces of the paper bag with some Mod Podge to cover up that bottom part. And I just used the glue stick to attach the stems to the pumpkins and here's how it turned out. For this next project, you're going to pick up one of these little pumpkin pencil holders, I think they are, from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull off both of those pumpkins from the little holder. Now you can go ahead and paint or stain this whatever color you want, but I am painting it white because I do want to use some of those Dollar Tree rub-ons for this project as well. I also picked up some of these little wood pumpkins from Dollar Tree for this project, and I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of the little stems. And if you haven't guessed yet, we are making a little pumpkin riser. Now you could also use this as a coaster, make a few of them, and it would be really cute to put around your house but I'm just going to go ahead and line up those little pumpkins where I want them wood glue all of those down and then I'm just going to wood glue the top on top of there and then I'm just going to add some of those Dollar Tree fall rub on transfers to this And then finally for this project, I'm just putting a layer of Mod Podge all over the top of this in case I do end up using it for a coaster
For this next project, you're going to want to pick up two of these little planks from Dollar Tree. These are the ones with the pumpkin cutouts. And you're going to want to go ahead and cut both of these in half. And it was super easy to cut in half. I just scored these and they popped right in half. Then I went ahead and I gave each of these pieces a very light coating of my white chalk paint. Now you can choose to paint or stain these any color you want. Once they were dry, I'm just going to use some hot glue and start putting this together. If you haven't guessed, we are making a lantern slash vase. I say that because I couldn't find top pieces to fit these so mine's more of a vase but you can see here i did use some jenga blocks just for some extra support for the sides of this now like i said if you can find little top pieces like frames from dollar tree that will fit on this you could definitely make this more of a lantern style but since i couldn't find anything that would fit the top and the bottom i'm just using some of these paint stir sticks i picked these up at walmart and i just cut them down and I'm going to put them on the top and around the bottom just to finish this off. And then the last step for this project is I just used some wood glue and some of Dollar Tree's thicker craft sticks to make a bottom for this. You can see there's kind of a little lip that I made with the paint stir sticks so that I could just put these down in there. And here is how it turned out. Like I said, you could use this as a vase or you could put some candles or lights down in this. It would even be beautiful on your front porch. This next project is probably one of my absolute favorites. I'm gonna be making a pumpkin tray. So I picked up four of these wood pumpkins and then two sets of these bead garlands from Dollar Tree. If you can't find these, you can of course just use regular beads. It really doesn't matter. But I went ahead and used some wood glue to stack all of these pumpkins up just to make this tray a little bit thicker. Now this is definitely totally optional. You can use one of these pumpkins if you wanted to, but I just wanted mine to be a bit thicker and more substantial. And here I'm just using some Dollar Tree clamps to hold this together until they dry. Once they finished drying, I went ahead and gave this two coats of my white chalk paint. And you can also notice I filled in that hole with some of my Dollar Tree spackle. And also around the edges, I added some spackle too. Then I'm just going to go ahead and use some more of that wood glue to start adding my beads to the edges of the pumpkin. Now you can see I left this on the little piece of twine that the beads were on. It just made it a little bit easier for me to work with. But when I ended up doing that second piece, I ended up having to do them one at a time because once I cut the ends off, they just kind of fell off. To decorate this tray, I'm going to be using some of Dollar Tree's fall rub-on transfers. And I'm just going to pick out a few that I liked. I wanted this fall one in the center and I went ahead and rubbed that one on and then I'm going to cut out a few and kind of arrange them where I thought I wanted them and then I will just rub all of those onto the tray. Now this is also totally optional, but I did go ahead and use some Dollar Tree felt to add to the back of this because I didn't want it to scratch my little bookshelf that I've had it sitting on. And so I just used some Mod Podge to attach this to the bottom. And then pretty much the last minute, I decided to add some handles because I had some of those beads left over and I just thought that this definitely needed some handles. So I just kind of stacked up some of those beads and then I'm gonna fold over and twist with some of this floral wire and I will add some beads to that floral wire and you can see I'm sticking it down into the little holes from the beads that I had put on there before and I'm just going to put some wood glue down in those holes to hold the floral wire and make this really sturdy. And finally for this tray I just used some Mod Podge to make sure that I sealed everything on top. And here's how it turned out. I absolutely love this tray. I've had it sitting on my bookshelf for a few weeks now and I still love it so much. For this project, I'm going to be using some glass jars. I picked up this smaller one from Dollar Tree and then you can see clearly this 
mason jar the bigger one is one that i've had for a while i've tested out paint colors on it so i figured it'd be perfect for this project now you'll also need a piece of this chalkboard sticker from dollar tree and i just used one of these little pumpkins from dollar tree and traced it around onto the chalkboard sticker and that's what i'm going to be using to put on the little mason jar so i just cut that out and i'm placing it right in the center of the mason jar and if it doesn't have a tight seal you could add some mod podge over the sides but mine was perfectly fine and then i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to paint both of these jars with three coats of my white chalk paint. Once they are completely dry, you can go ahead and gently remove that sticker to reveal a peephole in the shape of a pumpkin. And if you did get a little paint under your sticker, you can just take something with a pointy edge and just scrape around all the edges of the pumpkin. Now I wanted to add a little bit more to this one, so I am taking one of these ribbon transfers and just adding it to the middle of the pumpkin. Then for the large mason jar, I just picked out some of the other rub on transfers that I liked. I wanted to put some pumpkin ones on here and I'm just going to rub those in. I also added a couple leaves to this one as well. Then I just decided to add some twine to the top of this. I was going to add some beads to this twine, but these jars were so beautiful on their own. I decided it didn't even need the beads. And finally, for this project, the last step was just kind of sanding down over where it says ball and mason on the larger mason jar. And here's how they turned out. This is how I've had this tray and these jars styled in my house for the past few weeks. And I think the combination is just absolutely gorgeous. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.